Hi guys, so this is just a brief video detailing how my business has been doing from the month of April as well as a month worth of plushies and crochet that I made. So what, how much can I produce and what did I make this month? And I have to say that in some ways I was able to make more than maybe I usually would be able to make. But in other ways I feel like I could also make more plushies and more things. Um, and there was definitely a lot of different things going on. So before I show you guys the plushies and um, the crochet, I'm going to talk about the business stats. So for the month of April compared to March, we actually did make more money, which is really good. And it wasn't really attributed to Etsy, to be honest. I got the same amount of sales from Etsy as last month um, and it totaled to about the same amount of, of revenue, uh, $3 more. So instead of $123, it was $126 this month and I also made $300 from my first ever market which I do want to do a separate video about that market. But really ecstatic. I did my first market in April with my sister and I made $300 from selling plushies at that market. So super grateful and super excited to do more markets like that. Yeah, it's not like a thousand dollars, but it's also not like $20. I think I'm very happy with $300 considering the size and the fact that it was like my first time doing it. You also have to take into account how big the market is and the market was at the Japanese Culture Center. It wasn't the biggest market, but it was decent. So in the future, if I don't make that much money, I think I'll still be really excited to do markets. Um, or if I have the opportunity to do bigger markets as well, I think I'll be really excited to do that too. Um, another thing I want to mention is that by doing the market that it, even if you're not making money necessarily at the market um i think doing markets are profitable no matter what because they get your name out it's um free advertising for you basically and i was able to get a couple of sales that came in after the market from the market so I think doing markets are really good no matter what. Um, one of these sales, and I'm going to start going into like the things I made in a month. But one of the sales that I got was this entire custom bouquet of flowers. So here it is all done. And I'm going to post on TikTok and show you guys like exactly my process for these babies. But... I don't know about you guys, but flowers are pretty hardcore. I admire anyone who does flowers and sells flowers. Like, it's not something I think I'm going to really do a lot, or I think I'm going to do it maybe for a limited amount of time during a portion, a portion of the year or pockets of the year. But I really feel like I don't enjoy making flowers as much, and I really feel like I'm not is good and is efficient at it trying to finish these flowers even though it is a really good order it's about like two hundred dollars worth of flowers that i'm getting from the sale um even though the revenue is good on them i really feel like time wise i did not utilize my time correctly because i was just stalling and procrastinating and it took me i think about it took me about three weekends to complete these flowers versus all these plushies that I'm about to show you. I was able to bang up all these plushies in maybe, I want to say a week and a half, honestly. Um, and part of it was me pushing myself. Um, the other part of it was also actually having the time to just like for a week and a half just bang out plushies um i don't even know if this is like a lot of plushies i feel like i could actually produce more but um yeah so we're gonna go into the plushies that i made 
either for future markets or to restock my shop. Um, I did also make some plushies um, for a wholesale order catalog that I am currently working on. Um, and I did, I guess, send this wholesale catalog to um, one, then one shop so far. So I'm still working on the catalog. I'm still figuring out the wholesale side of the business. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but for the wholesale catalog, I made a small seal, a small ice cream, a small shrimp. I think I need to work on this pattern or buy a pattern, but I like it, but I'm not happy with it, you know, but whatever. I think I'll just buy a pattern for it. Also made a pocket plushy shark. I made a mini ice cream that I want to make into pins and a pocket plushy uh, ice cream. And I also made, I know for the wholesale catalog, I'm working on these platypuses and I want to do like Perry the platypus style and make hats for them. But I want to sell the hat separate because I don't want it, it, it shouldn't, it, I don't think it's necessary, necessarily, necessarily parry the platypus. I think they're super cute even without the hat, so I want to give that option. But I just don't know which one to do or what I like yet, but my husband said to add these legs and arms, and I kind of like it better with the legs and arms, but honestly, I kind of like it without it too, like, I don't know, it has these really cute little nubs, but I absolutely am obsessed with making platypus right now. They're super easy to make, and honestly, if I took the time to sit down and make a damn pattern, I probably could sell these patterns because I just freehanded these. Then I also made four ducks, either to restock my shop or market as well but ducks tend to be pretty popular. I made um, pink mushroom poppets. I actually made six but for some reason I only have four. Oh because I sold two already. But just pop it like that. I made two strawberry turtles. Two strawberry turtles. I actually made the pieces for a lot more but um i didn't have time to sew it on or assemble it yet so we're just gonna add that to next month's restock or next week's restock i really should be doing these videos more often and i think that would push me to produce more and restock more often and just do more products wise with my business but I've been honestly training for another job, um, so this is going to be my second job that I'm picking up, and I'm hoping to run my business and do two jobs at the same time, so we'll see how that goes. At least both jobs are pretty flexible hours-wise, and I can also work the business around the jobs as well, but yeah, it's Dragon Year. I gotta push myself. So the last thing that I was able to make, and I am obsessed guys, I am obsessed, is these rainbow bees, and I made them specifically for my pride June, I think June is pride month, uh, I want to do a pride drop, so pride drop, rainbow bees, are they not the cutest thing, so I made... I still have to finish some of them, but I made five regulars, and I made, oh, no, this is like an old one, I guess, so I made two minis, they kind of, the, the wings on this one's kind of messed up, but two minis. And then I have three minis that still need wings. Um, I think I'll probably 
finish that and just include it in this cold drop. Um, take a picture of it, but yeah, this is everything I made in a month. Honestly, when I'm looking at it, I could have made more and I should have pushed myself to make more, but I was definitely doing a lot of other things this month. Um, and in terms of the business, I was actually doing a lot of paperwork and business and researching kinds of things this month. So production-wise, I didn't have a lot of time to produce. But hopefully, we're going to get some orders. Um, we're going to get, hopefully, a wholesale order next month. Um, I'm not, these flowers, I'm not counting in my revenue for April. I'm going to count it in May. Um, if I, I didn't do good on Etsy at all for some reason for this May month, um, and we're already 23 days in, so I'm assuming at this point that I'm not going to beat my revenue from last month, um, even with the flowers counted this month, but we'll, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. And yeah, it's everything I made. I need to push myself to make more because I want to make more, but I can't make more things until I really get down the basics of the other things and get my paperwork done and get to the point where, you know, my licenses are all good. I have my taxes all done. I have my job squared away. I've studied for everything. I think when everything with my jobs and the business um, in terms of paperwork is more settled and squared away, that's when I'll really be able to focus on just like production, production, and getting more products. But for now, definitely these little bees will be part of my pride drop pretty soon in June. I'll announce it on Instagram or TikTok, so please follow me on those platforms as well. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys have a good April to May. Peace. One month of crochet.